guys, um, tough news to handle coming your way if you're a Blazers fan or just an NBA fan. You hate to see guys get injured. And especially you hate to see Yusuf Nurkic get injured. Uh, this is now the third straight year he's gone out with an injury. I guess the first one was con the same injury, but boy, does it suck seeing our best center go down with an injury. He's starting to play better after starting off slow. I mean, yes, he wasn't playing great. But he's still a key part of this offense and the defense even. I know as much as he's not a great defender, he's still not. We still need him out there on the floor. He started making better plays. He got some blocks, got some steals. He was playing some better defense in the post, and he was getting steals. I mean, I'm going to talk about what it means for this team and uh, in general. So first off, he fractured his wrist, which is an eight-week injury probably around. But if it's severe breaks... It could be around six months, which would be the whole season once again for the second straight year. And uh, that would be brutal. I mean, wow. He goes down in the Golden State Series and uh, he comes back in the bubble. He plays not great. After a broken leg, he comes back. Now he's starting to play better. His points aren't bad. His defense isn't great. But he's still, we still need to be on defense. And here's here's the, here's why we need this guy so much in the pick and roll game. He's all Dame really has. Nurk or Cantor is great. I love Cantor, but he's not really a pick and roll type of guy. He's more of a offensive rebounding, put it back up gap guy. <clears throat> DJ might have to run some small ball five now, and I wouldn't be too mad with that. DJ is a good defender, but it'll be Covington in the paint, and DJ will be running the four. I just think DJ is more fast. He'll be running the pick and roll game with Dame. So we might have to run, get tricky with our rotations now with Nurk out for a while, and uh, it's gonna be. CJ, Nurk, or CJ, Dame, Trent, maybe, Covington and Jones, or maybe we slide Cantor in there and we get Anthony and Trent more time on the bench, but there's going to be some small ball five, and uh, you can see that from Covington and Jones, 100%. They're both great, exceptional defenders. I just think that we don't have anyone that can guard a true big anymore. Uh, Ennis Cantor is n not a good defender. I'm sorry. I love you, Ennis, but you're not a good defender. Uh, Nurkic was starting to play better. I mean, he was getting some blocks. He was getting some defensive stops. He was playing the paint better. He was looking like a rim runner. He was dunking. He was getting the fast breaks. He was playing well in the pick and roll even. And he had a slow start, but he started picking up on this four-game win streak. Now it comes to an end tonight. And uh, he knew it right away. He got up for the uh, block. Or no, he slapped the ball. Hit his hand initially. Next possession. Goes up for the block. And then falls on his back. Hand hits the floor and hit the block. That's three times his hand made contact, and he immediately went to the locker room. We called timeout, and that was so tough to watch as a Blazers fan for the third straight year of seeing our big center go down with an injury. Um, it was bad, and I mean, I feel super bad for the guy, and I love the guy, and he really this might have hurt our chances a lot, and we needed him back soon as possible. So hopefully he can recover fast, and it's not as bad as we're thinking. But man, Nurk, bro. So basically, what this is going to mean is we're going to have to rely we'll on our offense 100% more. And Damian Lord needs to start stepping up and start hitting the three shots. CJ McCollum needs to keep playing exceptional. DJ and Gummy have to contribute in the offense now. And we need Ennis Cantor to step up in that pick and roll game and start making his shots like he's been all year. He's been great. He's been a beast on the bench. I just don't think he can be starting. And this is when you wish we still had Hassan Whiteside. Yes, his contract was terrible, and I didn't want to re-sign him, but ugh, something scary like this happens, and you want that defensive presence out there in the floor to get you shot blocking. Man, it's it's tough. I think Harry Giles will be very involved now, especially on the defensive side of the ball, because he is not a bad defender, and he's very lengthy, kind of like a taller Derrick Jones, so that could be helpful. We were in a small ball with Harry Giles at the starting five, maybe. I don't even know. But we'll see how it plays out on Saturday in our next game. So, yeah, Nurkic goes down with an injury, and, uh, yeah, it's going to be heavy, heavy. We're going to go back to last year. It's going to be heavy offense. We've been playing better defense, honestly. I bet we will be more like last year with it. higher scores. Yeah, DJ still going to lock up the best player, but that paint is going to be wide open now. No one's going to be in there hammering it down. And, yeah, he's not a great defender, but he still gets the box. He still gets the steals. He does the little things, and he started to play more aggressive. He felt like he could get back into his own rhythm. He actually was hitting the three ball okay, most he's ever been. He actually shoots it now, so... It's just sad to see a guy thriving. I mean, coming back from a terrible injury, he's doing good, finally, after being struggling his first 30 games back. So, I don't know. It's it's really tough. It's really tough to watch as a fan. Uh, Nurkic, get better soon, man. Uh, we love you, bro. Please, please get better. We need you on this team. And uh, like I said, it's eight weeks or longer, more severe breaks, 
men in six months. Your doctors having your failure of having don't rush back into activity soon. Oh my gosh. Three to six months. Two years for stiffness. Wow. That is worse than I thought. This could hurt us chances a lot. Nurkic, bro, I love you. And, uh, yeah. Peace. That'll be it for me.